When we look at the world affairs, India's image was never that high, and it is rising. G20 will be remembered for epochal accomplishments. African Union became a member of G20. India became voice of Global South. I can keep on going. Many achievements were there. The entire world witnessed 5,000 old civilizational culture of this country. This is where we are. India in the world is the only constitutionally structured democracy that is at all levels, at the village level, at the municipal level, at the state level, at the central level. We have robust judicial system in such a situation. We are obvious, I emphasize, India is obvious pacemaker for global peace and harmony. Friends and Mr. Sanjay Puglia, in such a scenario, media is imminently suited to be an agent, to convey right perspectives, to understand India, rather than be prey to orchestrated narratives seeking to taint, tarnish, and demean our image and institutions. It is something which media needs to reflect and take proactive steps. Democratic values optimally blossom and flourish when there is equality before law, when there is accountable and transparent governance, where patronage, nepotism, and favoritism have no space. There was a time when these three pernicious tendencies dominated our working. But that, soothingly, is a matter of the past. Privileged pedigree has disappeared. Equality before law is writing on the wall. Those who thought they are immune to law, they are above law, they are different than others, have realized it to their pain. What can be greater pain to a human soul, young boy and girl, living in the largest democracy, that some people are more equal than others, they are more privileged? That system has gone. In the process, morale of, of our youth has gone up.